get man no pass get man because all man not get man I no care you slice of me oh the system the wire this one mona this one too not a one he hate a one waiting man go do show who na ni jubo na who last man e kani mengo asa Fumble, hello and welcome to Radio Mercury 92.1 FM, wherever you day, good evening and welcome, well, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're feeling yourself. Me and Mama Jujala is truly DJ Bass, and as always, this is conscious time, awareness age, studio one, from bass to center. This night show, the night ride, the show they come to you every Wednesday and Friday from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and the DJ Bass show on Saturdays from... Well, first I'll be 11 o'clock, but from tomorrow from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. You know, so that program day for, day for great awareness. So, tonight we get, uh, we brought a rider who they can talk with, and yourself can be part of the show. But while you listen carefully to the issues, then you can come a little bit closer, bro. All right. Thank you. So, very much. introduce yourself to Fambulem. People that listen to you on radio, people that watch you on Facebook. So, the ball in a cut. All right. Thank you very much. Um, you can speak a little bit louder, please. DJ Biz, thank you very, very much. I'm so, so happy for coming at this program. Yeah. Um, Mina Mohamed Samasin Fofana, um, Mina the president of the Young Africans Dream. Uh, the Young Africans Dream is an institution where they seek the interest of the young people in Africa. Okay. Right? So, um, we the target the young people and, and mm -hmm. seek their interest. All right. We principally they focus on issues and like social justice for promote social justice mm -hmm. uh, for the young people and also um, unity among the young people and uh, what we call entrepreneurship okay because we believe um, as young Africans dream say social justice unity and entrepreneurial skills mm -hmm. now the keystone them or the primary response to Africa's unemployment challenge all right we believe say when the young people learn when in three areas say able for day in place okay then the problem don't solve for the young people then so we as young africans members then mm -hmm. at this now we focal point all right so yeah. how the whole thing started and we talk about africans i believe it's not just alone no more so take me back to the old stuff how we start yes thank you very much uh, the young africans dream like as i say in a institu and a one institution where they focus on then young people we don't start on a salonia initially we start on a banjo the gambia okay um we come together as young people and young graduate from various institutions then mm -hmm. across africa so we decide for set up this institution in 2018 all right so we set them up 2018 but mm -hmm. uh namibi be the brain behind everything okay um looking at all the areas that we are just don't highlight you know, when a social justice, unity, unity and, and uh, entrepreneurship. Yeah. So we start them, um, 
uh, we moved to certain countries in like Senegal, Guinea Bissau, mm -hmm. Mauritania. So we moved to them countries and they and we work on so many activities them and work with so many agencies them. Then at the end of the day, okay. um, I can move out of um, the continent. So um, now I come back and say no. With the car approach an election term, now my own country will come up from winner salon. Okay. You understand? So it, it good and uh, the best idea for law go the back and law register the young African stream and let the young people be conscientized. Okay. Because then young people here now then are the epicenter of social, economic and political violence. Yeah. Cut across Africa. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Because most of the politicians they, they use their young people here for their own selfish interest, for satisfying their own political greed. Okay. You understand? So we, we, we decide for target um, three set of generations. You know, we focus on the what we call the millennial generation. Yeah. Then are the young people that were born from nineteen eighty one to nineteen ninety six. Mm -hmm. Then we focus on what we call the newest generation. Okay. That's those born uh, from nineteen ninety seven to twenty twelve. And 2012 to 2025, okay. we will call it Generation Alpha. So mm -hmm. now then three set of generation here. And the main reason why we decide for focus on then three set of generation, like I say, yeah. like I mentioned earlier, then generation here, now then always they are the epicenter of political violence in Africa. Okay. You understand? Now then the politician they can use against themselves. Mm -hmm. So like we sit down and think and say, then three areas here, this social justice. Somebody will ask, say, what is social justice? Mm -hmm. Social justice. Um, now, a view say everybody deserves equal economic, social, and political right, okay. irrespective of your tribe, irrespective of your political leading or geographical location, which you find yourself, mm -hmm. you deserve equal right. All right. And social justice is not fairness. Fairness, what is not fairness? Fairness in education, fairness in employment, fairness in healthcare, housing. So we, 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 we decide to say, well, we need to focus on that one area first because that's not a problem within the African continent vis-a-vis okay. -vis Sierra Leone because Sierra Leone is no excuse honestly speaking All right. you understand so that's not one and then two we decide for focus on the unity because if you look at the system in Salo right now one of the most polarized societies in Africa right now in Salo mm -hmm. looking at the political system um, I'm sorry for saying this but I will mention this we do many researches and then we discover say the politicians them then culture system, now a strategy, colonial strategy, say the best way for rule people and not for divide them. Okay. The way you divide the people then, it able for rule them very well. Because they know they speak, think, act like one anymore. You understand? They will see each other, mm -hmm. not as brothers or sisters anymore, but as enemies. Yeah. And that currently, if you look at this current situation as Sierra Leone, the tribal sentiment is the only increase. Absolutely. And that's not a ticking time bomb. Okay. And we get into an election within right. less than a year, okay. actually. All right. Okay, brother, when you talk about uh, it's a young African dreams, am I right? Yeah, young Africans and, dream. Okay. Yeah. Then, I don't know if if we are take time every country in context. What I mean, it must vary. Different countries, different issues about young people. When I get a, a target age, we want to talk about young people because in Syria we talk about young people or looks maybe the one category you ever do to. Maybe let's take from 18 to 35 when are the official young yeah. young age. You also get young people who don't pass 35 years, still look themselves as young people because they now enjoy that young age. So which category or age of people they want to target or look for? Thank you very much, DGBS, for that question. It's very, very important. Um, before I answer the question, let's just explain a bit earlier. Because we discover say various institutions around the world yeah. catch their own definition for young people. Like if you look at the, the UN Secretariat, um, the ILO, WHO, mm -hmm. then define young people from ages 15 to 24. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then you look at um, like the, the UN Habitat, yeah. then say ages, um, 20, uh, ages 15 to 35. Yeah. Even the African Youth Charter, mm -hmm. it's taken from 15 to 35. Yeah. So they all come with their own definition. You understand? Some say, like I just mentioned, some say... Um, Youth ends at 35, mm -hmm. old age begins at uh, 58, yeah. in between the middle ages. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the young Africans dream, we see that we say, okay, now this is Africa because we are born here in Africa. Yeah. We grew up in Africa. So we understand the African system better than the West. Where then they sit down and catch the new definition of young people. Okay. So we now decide to focus on the demographic cohort. That's now people from 1981, we, we call the millennial generation. 
1996 to 1996, mm -hmm. then from 1997 to 2012, mm -hmm. 2012 to 2025. The reason why, yeah. like as I say, the feature mantle of responsibility and leadership yeah. absolutely rests on the shoulders of these three set of generation. And when you look at all the issues the way they happen in Africa when it comes to political issues, mm -hmm. now then young people that they can use. You understand? Yeah. So somebody go there from 1981 to date, we'll call him say 41, exactly. depending on the looks. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. But still a young person, mm -hmm. a leader, you understand? So we the target them people there. Okay. And you ask another question about the different countries them with different um, problems, Issue. issues them. Yes, we do we research before we become, like as I say, the young Africans dream, uh, we involve about 16 countries at the moment, you understand, where young people are involved mm -hmm. in this particular venture. But make sure it will help all young people okay. so we can discover say virtually the same issues they mm -hmm. happen the similar the similar problem all right you understand so we decide now for focus on the three areas there at the moment okay yeah all right again sometimes you can say if you want to solve somebody problem or a problem you get to know maybe what's not the cause of the problem when i don't go back and think about young people and problem first in the before when i talk about uh unity social justice and uh, entrepreneurship when i don't know first the problem than maybe bring something where they're not going to accept or not even get the understanding about yeah yeah of course we don't do the understanding because i say mm -hmm. um then 16 countries here so get similar issue yeah including sierra leone mm -hmm. because me now one of the brains then behind the organization okay and as i know me come out now i are born of course mm -hmm. i go school now so i understand the system better yeah so where we come where i come back mm -hmm. i also do my research with my team okay so we discover in fact the situation though worse in fact the problem, we can discover, say, the problem, illiteracy. The rate of illiteracy is so high. Mm -hmm. And uh, Salom, the political system, because the young people then, mm -hmm. who will the target, a larger percentage than illiterate, yeah. you understand? Mm -hmm. Then, then political influence, then political leaning, influenced predominantly by tribe, okay. color, um, and geographical location, you understand? Mm -hmm. So because of the illiteracy rate so high, and job not in the country mm -hmm. and um, we look at what we call the social justice because the social justice we know the talk say social justice no being a saloon you understand we know go say that but we think we try for say mm -hmm. we they try for work with the authorities and for let them let it be felt by virtually everyone okay you understand say it no matter if i'm a party where they support being a power mm -hmm. if a job come i get forget the job okay. because mina is a union but today if we look at certain situation well, not today. This has been happening. Yeah. Not to the first time. This successive government in the camp had the same problem. Yeah. You understand? Say, oh, now people in this one, now Bobo in this one, and they support me. Blood, mm -hmm. and job. You understand? Yeah. What you call, um, um, you know, na mediocrity. Not to meritocracy. You get people in way, then qualify for the job. Mm -hmm. But just because they are not, you know, leaning towards a particular political party, yeah. they know they get the job. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then a social injustice. Okay. You understand? So then a one major problem. Now the country mm -hmm. we know say yes this now africa now continents where most of the countries are developing countries and yeah salon also with really the try mm -hmm. the job no day but at least if we decide for bring we come we come together yeah we focus on the unity because unity they can always say that um every nation many things they contribute towards the development of a nation yeah but unity are the most vital okay within they call national unity mm -hmm. because any side unity day Development they can do, which they call socio-economic growth and expansion. Yeah. They always they sneak in. Now any country say unity, they which we call national unity. Yeah. But once you lack the national unity, mm -hmm. you understand? Then I take in time bomb. Then the development of that country differs. When I just dog on the spot. Okay. Now suckling. So even if we not change government fifty times a day, trust me, that the same system because everything based on tribe, based on geographical location, based on what we call nepotism. And I'm sorry for saying this. If you look at the the, the Sierra Leone Truth and Reconciliation Commission report yeah. and find it, it said one of the root causes of the civil war will bring this country to a knees and spread carnage mm -hmm. throughout the nation. It talked about first of all endemic corruption. Yeah. You understand? Endemic greed, nepotism. Now, as Sierra Leoneans, let's ask yourself this question. For the past 20 years, since they declared the war officially, um, say, don't over 2002 mm -hmm. to date, are we still facing this kind of situation? What we refer to as um, the endemic greed, corruption, nepoti nepotism, 
-hmm. It's still in the system of the salon. We ask yourself that question. We wear the patriotism close. Okay. Wear the nationalism less. You understand? Disconnect yourself from all political parties. Yeah. All tribe mm -hmm. and see myself as Sierra Leone and I ask myself this question objectively yeah. and see if that is happening. If it's not happening, mm -hmm. then not follow hand and chill. But if it happen, they not work very hard and kick them out of the system. Okay. So those are the problems, first of all, based on the findings. All right. Uh, since when I set up this organization, uh, Young African Dreams, let's say the chapter in Sierra Leone. Yeah, the Sierra Leone chapter. Yeah. You, you don't, una, or you don't ever confront the young people that you target group them in, maybe it gets a tete a tete first before oh yes in fact one of the, the annual work plan where we try for register the organization at the freetown city council they ask for the annual work plan okay. so my team we come together and work first of all we 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 did try for focus on the capital city first yeah. because this is not the hub you know of the young people mm -hmm. you understand then we move, take them to the provincial areas then yeah so of course we don't target some of the young people in the area like from Jewry area we don't meet some young people mm -hmm. um, also we don't talk to young people in um, like Aberdeen, um, Godrich, yeah. you understand? Mm -hmm. In fact, what do they try to do right now? Because we know say, this is a young people and organization, we they try to work with different different groups them within the, the, the Freetown municipality. Different different young groups them, okay. agencies and follow work together mm -hmm. and see how best they will help people spread this message. See, that's, that time don't pass for that young man then comes, hey, bro, everybody, they give them money, they go sit down. Yeah. This time around, then they're using creativity, then create the skills them. You understand? Forget the young self enterprise. Because we believe, see, if you're a young man, you get a small business where you run, at least they get you 100,000, 50,000. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying any politician who can confuse you or convince you, take confuse you, so they go fetch in a street or go stab somebody else. Right. Like I mentioned, Mr. Bass, the problem is mm -hmm. the politicians know the issue. Then they're able to step in. I discussed with somebody a few days ago. I say. The development of this country, first of all, mm -hmm. yes, it didn't go the hand, but the politician then, it rests on their shoulder. Yeah. If they want to let this country develop, they want to let this, first of all, the first thing they unify the country. You're right. They're able to come together, mm -hmm. then unify this nation. You understand? Mm -hmm. Let the Timiniman see the Mindiman as his brother. Let the Mindiman see the Timiniman as his brother. All other tribes, you understand? But take, I know a question about the yeah. brother. I believe, say, some Salon people, they see the other tribe as their brother. Also, I mean, they see the whole problem they come, it's when it comes to elections. Because you see, me and you two, like I say, we go, I mean, we go there together, maybe we'll see yard, then we'll go up and the other way. I mean, never, never, then they saw like a big yard side. People will talk about, uh, one thing what people can talk about, say, religious tolerance. We, I've been mean, talking about then this, I was say, mm -hmm. the understanding about religious tolerance to me is like, if I be holistic, yeah. it's not only for being on the religious part of it. Religious tolerance will also get a uh, unity in diversity. Yeah. You can still leave party, I accept you, you're not Christian. I, still, I mean, if we play in all spheres, but I only see people that say, we talk about religious tolerance and talk about Muslim, the my Christian, no, or Christian, they go to church. If we bet all side, meaning even in the political circle, there should be religious tolerance. In other words, I mean, political party for maybe even a rally, they rally peacefully, quietly, no fets, no problem. I know that rally. I mean, so to me, now that part there, they look the, the whole issue about tolerance. But in Sierra Leone, you go find out, like I say again, Muslim, they marry Christian, Christian, they go mosque, Muslim, they go church. But when it comes to elections, now they, that, that, in, that problem, they become. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. That's what you, like, the political tolerance. Because of, we politically intolerance. Now, because we politically intolerance, mm -hmm. now that's make a mention something with a key point. Listen as them out there, some go testify, some go agree. I mentioned, say, that's not the focus, not the main problem, not the main issue, that political intolerance. Mm -hmm. But that political intolerance, the cause, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say this, but it's in the hands of the politicians. Because this is not a colonial strategy where you say the best way for rule people, not for divide right. them. Yeah. That way you succeed for divide the people, you're able to rule them. Mm -hmm. You understand? I just mentioned something. I said the, the development of this country, it didn't go the hand, but the, the responsibility God gave to the politicians, course, and it didn't have the shoulder. If they want to let this country develop, mm -hmm. trust me, the first thing now for uni unify the country, right. they're able for Duam. Mm -hmm. You understand? But they're not a Duam because a day at their own advantage. Mm -hmm. Remember, if they come together and unify this country, mm -hmm. you understand? Like I mentioned, the Tinimansi, the Miliman, as a young brother, even in politics, yeah. 
the Mendeman City team, man, as a young brother, even in politics, mm -hmm. you understand? Wherein we vote for somebody, not based on tribe, but based on the person's incompetence, mm -hmm. not based on geographical location, yeah, yeah. based on the person's incompetence. For example, if we begin to see, for example, SAPP begin lost election, now the Mendedom, mm -hmm. you understand, or APC lost election, now the North, you understand? Mm -hmm. Then we understand, say yes, now the people are not consci they're not conscious of the situation. Yeah. But the politicians, then, most of them, no want that play happen. They want let the people to remain divided. Of course. So that to make first of all, they see this um, um, tribal sentiment they on the high increase in the country. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, first of all, so they certain political issues. I mean, you know they talk about certain area. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because everybody gets outside the lane. Everybody gets in the lane and say, now we party. All right. Now suffering and smiling. If you check, mm -hmm. most of the people them waiting in the support because like one of my mentors say, a lost nation, now a nation wherein the jobless and the the hungry people then. They blindly support the people who are responsible for their agony and misery. You're right. You're right. And that's exactly what is happening in Sierra Leone. Okay. Again, I, I can say one thing. Uh, education gets a lot to do with this whole thing. Because once the people educate, like you mentioned, then go able to know their right and go begin to forget about maybe voting for region, voting for party. So we have a problem with education. And when media talk about education, I need only talk about the book education. Like I say again, I can say, Common sense not common, and you can get your degree, but you still not get common sense. So, how much uh, yard? I mean, the, the organization, the in conscientizing, creating awareness, about about education, the civic part of it. Because yeah. like I mentioned the other time, you get people and we they tell me they go to school and learn you for scrubble feet, or for wires, almost them for wires, mm -hmm. almost them for scrubble mud. I mean, clean up private parts, yeah. but now yeah. in other schools. Yeah. So, how much force you able? I mean, educating the people, creating the awareness before they reach to that level of making decisions. Yes, we get a department within the Young Africans Dream, way in the social department, mm -hmm. way in the hand of that area. Thank you very much for that question we mentioned about education. Mm -hmm. Because um, now, other problem in this country, yeah. wherein, I'm uh, sorry for saying this, but some of the educated people, them, I would yeah. say most of the educated people, them, uh -huh. they can be the problem in this country. Yeah. The reason why, where you know, a society like Salon, where the percentage of illiterate people in there on the increase or they is very high. Mm -hmm. You don't see the people and they see the educated people as demigods. You're right. Meaning they're not they make mistakes, they're perfect. Mm -hmm. Whatever they say it's is a gospel truth. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then forget say the educated people, most of them can be very selfish. Absolutely selfish. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like this man they talk talks say, say if you are if you are so attached, emotionally attached to your tribe, yeah. your religion and political leaning. To the point that um, um, unity, mm -hmm. justice, truth, not, don't become a secondary consideration. Then yeah. education very useless. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So Mickey always say, we have the educated people. Yeah. We have the intelligent people. Mm -hmm. You have people that are educated. We have we have what we call intelligent educated people. We have the unintelligent educated people because there is a fundamental difference between being educated and being intelligent. Yeah. Education and knowledge wouldn't pass into you. Intelligence is the bond with the knowledge. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, you get people in way they educate, but the intelligence no they. You get people in way they no educate, but they get common sense, mm -hmm. where it match with the intelligence. Mm -hmm. Then they do the right thing. Right. Because education is what doing the right thing. Exactly. Intelligence is what doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. So if you are educated, you just speak very good English, then you do the wrong thing, then for me, you are unintelligent, but educated. Okay. All right, now one thing I can talk about on the radio, uh, Brother, I can talk about the uneducated young people. What do I mean by that? Young people that will get skilled, but if you look now, most of the side in Sierra Leone, if you want to get a job, except you write an application. But get a lot of young people out there, if not thousands of them, we get a skill, not go to school, how they will get a job? Well, now one of the areas that Dandy first of all, in fact, with all these three focal points with the targets, when are the social unity. justice, unity, and entrepreneurship, yeah. Me, personally as a president, my focal point, my main point is entrepreneurship. Okay. The reason why I hold that area tenaciously, mm -hmm. now because I get the belief, say, you as a young person, you get your business. Let's forget about the formal education, meaning we used to you sit on a classroom, mm -hmm. learn ABC and D, win a foreign language, yeah. you understand? You get your skill, or you get your small enterprise. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows they can confuse you or con convince you for they go fed for an assist or go choke somebody. You already get your business, you get your family. Yeah. Now, we at the Young Africans Dream, we decide, say, well, now, what do they do? We office there, now, O'Neill Street, mm -hmm. 
with a focus on the young people in a way they get um, a very very good um, knowledge about any enterprises okay. you get your skill you get a very good business plan even if you know sabi right self you they come now with office first of all you should don't explain to me first of all your idea all right. we get a team experts mm -hmm. whether they listen to you yeah then they listen to you and they listen to you very well okay the way you present your, your business proposal whether that through um, theoretical aspect um or you present them orally mm -hmm. or practically you understand we see some idea into you and we see you get support what's the support like a guarantor somebody who can stand this time picking with the fund your idea okay will they help you for create an enterprise for you all right that's not what they do now the young african dream which kind of enterprise okay get well we, we when we talk about enterprise if you they get, get some young people they're very creative in terms of business yeah you understand mm -hmm. but the capital not they right you understand they, they want to do one but the capital not they mm -hmm. they get some young people they're a very good artisan okay in the draw right. they get some young people they're a very good musician but not get promoters them mm -hmm. they get some young people so in a different different aspect so we look at where we feel say you good at all right you understand we we investigate empirically and get the evidence then we know say good at this then we step in and and and, and sponsor you all right family can be part of the show in a short while we don't see messages on uh we facebook page we guess we brought a right here and we discuss very important issues about young people so yourself can be part of the show you can call you on 08 the landline or you can send we a whatsapp or text to the number on the page out there and be part of the show we get to brother right here. We talk about uh, is it uh, Samasin? Samasin Fufana, Mohammed okay. Samasin Fufana. So, get your brother Mohammed Samasin Fufana of the inner the president of the Young African Dreams, and uh, we we'll talk about young people. How young people could be engaged? Like just uh, read some comments on Facebook, and uh, I'll tell her to watch you from the United States. Say hello, DJ Bass. Asi Bangwa says hello, DJ Bass. Long time. Hope you're good. Suleiman Sule Kamara says what's up, Bass, and. Uh, Sampa Kamara says, Good evening, brother Bass. Umar Jalo Sebe Wachwi. I DJ Bass watching from the UK. Much respect. Ibrahim Tanko Barb says, Good evening, Sam. Watching live from Rukel Checkpoint Highway, Waterloo Highway. It's Unruly Rose says, uh, Good evening, country legend. Good to see you on air. The Koning say, Watching you from Sanya. Well known as Sanya. Koning, if you can tell me. Mohamed Bangwa says, I love this guy much. Love, big bro. Here's a lot of blessings to you, my darling, from the United States. Uh, it's Unruly Roses, my favorite DJ in Sierra Leone. Mohamed Tennyson kind of say, thanks, DJ Biss. And uh, you always draw attention to development of our country, Sierra Leone. I hope we are getting to the point. I pray. Uh, Mohamed Tennyson from Bo. Hamza Bib, A plus, Kanu says, keep it up, bro. Usman Jalo says, keep up the good work. Mohamed Mansour say hello D DJ Bess, hello greetings from Netherlands now in Freetown. Wish to enjoy my stay with my family. My children are enjoying Mama Salon. J Osha say best to center, center to best much respect boss. Aaron Rashid Samura save the watch we Max Jalo says a nice one man. Suleiman Sule Kamara say when it comes to price increments and uh, what well, is different to the issue anyway. Uh, you see they are mathematically inclined, but now when it comes to decreasing they kill the formula. Okay, we the sufferers knows the formula. Boba J. Kamara says, Good evening, DJ Best from my side, Genic the finest from Newton. And Isaac Abbas says, Hello. Suleiman Sule Kamara says, Brother, you're on point. The politicians used to kill ourselves. And uh, Nene Abbas says, So true. Sequence Zumbaya says, Indeed. Swari Lahai says, Perfectly said, My dear brother. Alfred Keu says, Good evening to you, Mr. Best and host. This is very interesting. Oh, Salon. I see Bangra say, Millennials. Sean Cole from the UC, UK say social justice did the provision did the provision is for that in Sierra Leone where did access provision for that I see uh, Bangra is a very interesting topic Maxi anti T I want to say belated but I get things so I understand see myself waiting about it in days yeah is this papi if this papi we sit on a chair sit on again Bokuman will die because uh, just one day we doctor strikes so many people uh, die why the fake degrees them Abbas cannot say perfectly said I will tell say who is responsible for the high rate of illiteracy in the country Yusuf Tunkara say good evening DJ best long time my brother keep up the good God will guide you amen ambassador Mike Joseph Kanu the watch we he say good evening DJ best it's that Kara says keep up the good work DJ best watching from Sierra Leone Freetown 
It's on rule, you say, it's a very interesting topic. I see Bangura say, I don't see any tribe as my enemy, not at all. It's only a problem when it relates to politics. Yeah. Ambassador Mike Joseph Kano say, we the youths are the future leaders of today, and it needs to start now. Youth should be included in all aspects of policy making. It's an Uli Rose say all about positive vibes. Mama Tennyson Kane say we pray that uh, we talk about fear, but the issue right here. The issue we talk about is about young people, brother, and uh, we get to brother right here from the Young African Dreams to talk about unity, social justice, and also entrepreneurship. For the Kagbos, how can illiteracy cannot be high because the wicked and self interest of our politicians bury the education system and make it harder for the layman? not to go to school. So they will make illiteracy a forefront excuse to the embezzle of our money. God help Salon. Ibrahim Kamara says, awareness, age conscious, time from base to center. Sexy of all posts, tweet on Facebook. Ambassador Joseph Maikano says, these politicians have left us with nothing but green and red that have divided our nation. Jibril Jibril says, Timina Mendez are the well, we're not going to talk about tribe, really. Yep. Ibrahim Kamara said, good evening, DJ Base. I'm watching you live at home, PWD, because Kisi by Bure Road from Sexy of Walpole Street. Ibrahim said, good evening, country legend. DJ Base poverty is crime, true talk. That for sure, sexy. It's an Uli Rose says, keep up the good work. Ayotelo say, from the United States, the problem is the whole system needs to be overhauled. Leaders, politicians, and the people have to change their attitudes and start to think about the country. We can easily diagnose the problems, but can't seems to be able. Okay, but can't seems to be able to fix it. We just deep and talk, talk and talk more. James Corti say, keep up the good work. It's on rule. He says Sierra Leone will need to stop tribalism. Yusuf Utonka says, DJ, I'm watching you live from Moyamba Town. Mohammed M Fofana says, uh. Okay, that's for the WhatsApp number. Just go on the page. The WhatsApp number, did it? Tiffany Young say, watching from Lehigh Acres from the United States. Thank you for your contribution for our yard. Mohammed M. Fona say, DJ Bass, I'm watching live from UAE, Dubai. Soridi Kamara say, good evening, DJ Bass. Mohammed M. Mara says, keep up the good work, DJ Bass. Watching you live from my 91. May the Almighty Allah bless you for your good works. Abdul Adi Aziz Barry say, DJ Bass, I'm watching live from Somalia. Kismayo Juba land states keep it up. It is a commercial respect Rasta. Eddie Bangura say good evening to you and your guests. My daughter of four years is just asking me if if overstand is an English word. <laughs> overstand is an English word, brother, because we don't understand too much. So me not like for say understand. We still don't understand. So let's go over. The problem is the whole system needs to be overhauled. Okay, Asi Bangura says spot on. Michael John say big base one pie kind. Okay, now go back now. Uh, yeah. But you say, I mean, you focus or on our organization focuses on like engaging young people. Like you mentioned again about entrepreneurship. Now yeah. let's talk about. Uh, I mean, let's go into each of the words. Let's start with unity again for young people themselves because one of the problems that we we don't see young people. I don't deal with young people. I don't go see young people in day. The problem is. Uh, the drugs and one other thing again we don't can take over yeah. young people them so so many problem don't buckle they not get a better education some of we go to school we not go far we still not able for the wearing the skills or not i mean the avenues are not there and also the drugs have don't come inside don't, push, don't come so so many how you plan for able i mean engage young people in the first because you need to engage them for saying of course because we talk about unity because even if the young people they may get unity amongst we self, I mean, I believe the politicians enough for the able use it because you mentioned about divide and rule way people who want power authority they need because once the people in divide they are okay, but again we can say if we unite, then people we are then go, we go able to make choice then no say yes they no go able to use we so let's talk about unity how when they try to bring unity in a yard yeah before I talk about the how we they try to bring unity yeah. uh, in Salon, specifically when we target in Salon, because in Salon this right now this yeah. year in chapter. Um, you mentioned something about the unity waiting um, will happen and how we will go about them. We intend to engage the stakeholders in, you understand? What are the stakeholders? The stakeholders in, like when they talk about the councillors in, um, the parliamentarians in, because each parliamentarian in your constituency 
for the council. But then they go back to them people. Well, that's another, well, well, that's another thing. But that's yeah. make first of all with the stats and fit on here first of all and start make sure. Say, Why not go direct to the people? No, well, before we go to the people, mm -hmm. DJ Besla tell you something. Mm -hmm. The situation has is very complex. A complex. But these, these members of parliament don't go to their people and tell them exactly. Well, that's why we are here trying to see them. First of all, after we just start the program. Okay. We go for meeting one on one. First of all, we talk to them, mm -hmm. see how best. Then go for now. Then go for leave it to them people. Then. Okay. Because, like I mentioned, the situation has is so complex mm -hmm. that everything is political. We not for forget that mm -hmm. everything virtually is political. Right. So if no matter how intelligent you are or you educate or you get your idea, mm -hmm. if you come, you need a support from these politicians. Yeah. Now that make me me target now the politicians in terms of the, we, we getting the support. Okay. Not to the finance. We don't ask anybody for any fun funding. You understand? We mm -hmm. get William funding, but we not able to achieve the goals then without the help of the politicians. You understand? Because now then. They create the issue. Now they want to let that happen so that the people will be divided. If you send us a person away, they know say if the people then get sent and we make decision and we well, put some of them. Well, in. virtual not everybody, because however, any society you get people away they're selfish. Mm -hmm. But whatever happens, you must get people in first of all, we get the selflessness in them. Okay. Where at least some patriotism they inside them mm -hmm. or nationalism they inside them. We say, okay, let's work together. Mm -hmm. We don't young people there for CC. Because see, before I go to that question. The United States of America, not the greatest nation in the world today, but that don't mean say they don't get the problems. Then, then get, as we speak right now, they go through a lot. Of course. But that country, first of all, you know, is left for them. You know why? Because the founding fathers, they be don't sacrifice and build that nation mm -hmm. for the generation right. within the today. Right. So that to make, despite the hard struggles, still obstacles, mm -hmm. they are still leading. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we, in our present society, we in our salon right now, we need to come together. Sacrifice, even if not for reset, but for the generation mm -hmm. when they come. You're right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that message, first of all, really came to the politician and for let them put hand behind this particular organization for us succeed. Yeah. Now you mentioned about this drug issue. Yeah, well, may not go much in terms of uh, because then you say the idle brain, not the, the devil, devil workshop. Yeah. You understand? If a young man not get a job for do, I know they try for be the devil's mm -hmm. advocate for everybody. Mm -hmm. I just mention key areas. They yeah. not get a job. Very nothing to nothing all day. Because if you look today, the young people in Brooklyn, then some people don't get to that discuss the problem too. Family responsibility, they cripple some young people and mentally they, 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 they derail mm -hmm. mentally. Mm -hmm. Some confused, depressed, they don't get to that they discuss with. So sometimes they turn their attention to the substance and they when they be, become under the influence of the substance. Mm -hmm. Then, then at that mood for a particular time, they yeah. forget the worries. Right. Psychologically, mm -hmm. you understand what I mean? When, when the thing left, then they come back they come to back the worries. To you, so, exactly. Right. So some of them, because what do you make? I say this. I say this out of um, we research that we don't do. I'm not going for name areas. Mm -hmm. We talk to many young people, right. and this now we find this. Mm -hmm. Because if you get a job for do, you get your business. You don't go take kush, you crazy, you get your business. No. It's not possible. Yeah. Because you left your business, somebody who can take up. Mm -hmm. But when you don't get business, you don't go take kush. Look at me today, first of all. Some man they smoke, some man they take, do all anything they do. Mm -hmm. But where they go doing job, if they do in job. Correct. Where they don't do in job, they go to the corner, they feel free. Correct. But the one they want to take them continuously, now the one they want to not get a job at all. Mm -hmm. And we know they only target the young people that want to not get a job. Even the people that want to get a job. Yeah. Like, we, some of we documents that we, we put, put um, in place, yeah. we say employees themselves, they at a very disadvantaged position. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you work for person, mm -hmm. you they at a very disadvantaged position. Somebody will ask how somebody will they work there at a very disadvantaged position. Mm -hmm. If you're an employee, you lack the vision and entrepreneurial skills, you they at a very disadvantaged position. Except that employee where they engage in crime, mm -hmm. embezzlement, or other corrupt practices, where you go thief the, the society money, you go build mansion. Yeah. But you where they work genuinely and get your you, you, you salary. Mm -hmm. If you're not creative, you die in poverty. You right. in bankruptcy in the part. Right. Because first of all, when you become an employee, number one, you freedom the loss. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You 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 time no. You not get to get the time again. Right. The salary not enough. Once they no say you employ. So many issues. On inevitable family responsibility don't increase. Yeah. Opportunity far away from you. Mm -hmm. You understand? There is ninety percent chance you will remain an employee till you retire or you die. Mm -hmm. You understand? And the other problem, they suck at any time when things go south. Right. So, you as an employee, be creative 
at least get a backup plan. That makes today we see a lot of retirees. Yeah, There's no job. Yeah. I mean, no money, no day. All the things they're left with are big English and high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, even the one thing I, I understand, even some of the politicians in back, you will find out, say, when some of the party come on a power, they are like left out. That's the, the situation. The neighbor, the neighbor do not know. So, pass and begin fend the other party, but begin hide under them for bringing them cross up. Cross carpet from yeah. jumping from one place exactly. to the other. The neighbor not do not a thing. Table. Not a thing again. Because in the everyone wants to be in charge of the national cake. Mm -hmm. And people are ready for Duam at the expense of the nation's growth You're and right. expansion. Mm -hmm. Just for let them be part of the national cake. Mm -hmm. And this message not to go only for the young people. We will target the young people, but then say go we'll learn. Okay. Just like we mentioned, if you're not a politician, you know, get your backup plan. Mm -hmm. Focus on entrepreneurship, like yeah. I said, at the focal point of the young African's dream. Okay. If everybody gets in business with the wrong, first of all, I know if, you see, if the, the population of the idlers has reduced drastically, right. crime rate will reduce. Mm -hmm. Are they telling this? The crime rate will only increase when the, the jobless people are in a higher percentage. Right. And now that makes the politician and they use them. Because these politicians are using these people mm -hmm. for letting all my be in charge of the national kick. That small kick who, who they manage in a salary, all my right. be in charge. Right. Let's ship, ship, let him get, he, he, he amassed the wealth, okay. built a mansion. And the funny thing is, the people that say, they support them people, they see, the, like, I mean, I know we call that politician, mm -hmm. they buy one of the most expensive cars some time ago. Mm -hmm. I watched the video where people say, wow. So the people in SSF way then take the money from. Mm -hmm. yes, sir, they call then it. they call it and they yeah. admire the man. They say this right. might get blessed. Exactly. In fact, in, in some, you know, like I said again, the education gets a lot for those uh, people in a fight and some of who they try to drum on the media, especially for young people. Because, like you mentioned, one of the ways now we, a lot of Sierraians and things that will enrich themselves, that's through politics. And some of them can make whatever sacrifice it takes just for them for good. Like I said, maybe go hide, hide under a political banner. Any can we, you know, it's in the happen now when sometimes it comes for shape, then it's okay, well, you can't there. So, in some instances, I see young people and we, sometimes man go in a low cell, like I mean, our DJ base, uh, maybe I go under one political party, quick, quick, so I begin getting me chappings because instead of the money and whatever they, I pull them to car, begin billows. The same people around go can say, ah, oh, my mom, you see me, my car, eh? They admire oh, my you. Car. Ah. <laughs> They're not gonna even ask car, get the car. They don't even think about how quick I don't get a card. I call down there. Is it uh, that, that, that's a, na, na, na a narrow, na a narrow mindset? And okay. and for add something to that, way, very important. I really, really sorry if I hurt anybody for saying this, but even when it comes to the media, the fourth estate, mm -hmm. we are the young principal responsibility. Yeah. Now, for check the excesses mm -hmm. of these politicians. Mm -hmm. um, what about the civil society? The civil society as well. Mm -hmm. Most of them, not all, but most of them. Mm -hmm. And the media as well, not all, well, but the majority, most of them. The media majority, the majority, yeah. Society, the media, of don't course. Excite, you yeah. understand? Yeah. Everybody try to forget me. I know, say, yes, as, um, as humans, mm -hmm. we are all political animals, that's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Wherein we all get the political leanings. Mm -hmm. But we get to call objectivity, meaning the emotion. What didn't qualify you, what didn't make you different from the other person. Now where a camp um, the truth, you disconnect yourself mm -hmm. from your emotion because it takes maturity for one for less somebody disconnect himself from the emotion. Of course. You understand? Because yeah. everybody emotionally inclined somewhere. Of course. You understand? Mm -hmm. Wherein, for example, somebody could support party A, mm -hmm. but when party A does the wrong thing, you decide for put your emotional disconnection aside, aside and, and say the, the truth. truth. For the benefit of all and sundry, meaning for the growth and expansion of the nation. Mm -hmm. Because when people input nationalism or patriotism first, mm -hmm. independence and objectivity, they did. But when you put your party first and your own emotion and your interest first, then subjectivity don't come inside, then your professionalism is at stake. Well, again, and, and, and that goes back to the civic education, what we mentioned about the schools, then we then self get a lot for help for build this nation. Because to me, the schools and the home, they were connected at first, who will be the come up? Yeah. Person no go school, then go ask why no go school, like I say again. Certain things, so then, even patriotism, they learn in school. Of course. The national anthem, now you get the pledge. I would say, you say now, but could people not even know the words of the national anthem or the national pledge, or even the meaning? Some just sing, in fact, some schools, they are not they see, and they sing the pledge of the national anthem. Well, the major problem to that, first of all, because those that are responsible, the one that are responsible for that, first of all, they are politically inclined. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. They're not able for part with themselves emotionally when it comes to politics. Because the, the complex problem in a saloon, because you get some problem, we know complex. Mm -hmm. 
you get some problems very complex. I tell somebody, I say, Alexa, if you go with Nelson Mandela, he caught on a salon, or he go take President Obama, or any of the great leaders in Fokaru in a salon, first of all, trust me, we'll still jog on the spot. Because the political system is very complex. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, even the one that went for teaching and picking, and they, for example, like the things that we mentioned, the way we in the good school, mm -hmm. the ethics that they involve, the ethics are not there. Mm -hmm. Because they say, first of all, get a problem. Like, I get an issue with um, where I come recently, I've been getting a conversation with somebody like just this. Mm -hmm. So the person brings something for sale. I tell him, I said, no, I don't get interested in this particular thing. Okay. The person said, no, no, no. So I said, why you? I know, first of all, I don't know say pull them, I don't go buy them. Even though I want this particular thing, I don't go buy them. Mm -hmm. The person said, no, my brother, not to, not to anything bad. Mm -hmm. Now, my sister give me them. Okay. My sister need this money for going to lecturer. Yeah. He said, because I attempt this, we need to run after lecturers. He said, and the lecturers are very creative. Mm -hmm. They are not accepting the money publicly. Yeah. They'll pretend as if they are not part of it. Exactly. But then get some of the students they only collect, collect the money. So they see the picking the festival after you don't write exam. Even if you study very hard, if you don't give what you call, we're well, waiting and call mm -hmm. the brown envelope. At right. the end of the day, you mark the law, even if you succeed for pass it okay. to God in, in the law. Mm -hmm. But when you give something, first of all, even if there's no, you didn't write anything, mm -hmm. trust me, you'll be there. I know. So I shock. What did Pekin tell me? He said, my sister need this for sell this particular stuff. <laughs> you want to go give this lecturer. Mm -hmm. Now I said, but why would the lecturer do that here? I said, because when we be in the go school, I don't say then ten and they they not be get them corrupt practice and yeah. but you know they see how the naked eyes. Mm. But this one they see how the naked eyes is only for well lenses. It's legalized. It's legalized. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So this this is the problem, this one. So I don't get for it, get a time before even teach somebody so, ethics. So in, in this kind of society, we say, it's not only about the politicians, trust the, me. But again, them for set the peace. Yeah, of course, them for set the peace. Yeah. You see, so in this context and we come to say the education when we think say if for the number one, because any country will better than the world, no education. All the country the way they before and develop no education. If we education system don't be this way, we the talking way, mm -hmm. physical with the say don't society to corruption, put people in a cotton tree for expose them. We don't suicide and they go catch begin and in a special room, mm -hmm. they take the exam, we don't suicide, principals or heads of schools them, they set up different movement, ask for money and then also do their own exam day. Which kind of society you think so go get? Um if the educational system is not strengthened in every nation, first of all, that nation is bound for collapse. So is that not another problem? It's a very serious problem. That's why everything is on the heads of the politicians. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That if these politicians and the D, you understand, mm -hmm. trust me, somebody not go happy out there where they say this, but if they're ready for let this country develop... You think so they're ready? If they're ready, I don't think they're ready. It's not, oh, okay. I, I will tell you categorically, maybe some are ready, mm -hmm. but maybe something that will hold them back. Okay. <laughs> you understand? Maybe... They, so, they, 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 maybe I, the ego, or whatever. Yeah, they something hold to hold them back. All right. Say, look, this is not the system. Because, see, from West Alone gain independence, it has always been the status quo. You understand? Mm -hmm. It has always been the status quo from 1961 to date. Anybody who didn't have power, people in the fed for kind of power because they feel, say, like you mentioned, that the only way for like, a better insert in family. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that's what's happening. The general good is not mm -hmm. the major concern. Most anymore. of the rich people are the politicians. Eh? Now, the politicians. Eh? Yeah. You understand? You know? Because they look at and say, some man they drive, I come, I, I travel out of the country for a very long time, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I travel 2016, I come and see some things them, some of my friends and we, I, well, I see some people them. Mm -hmm. Some man they drive big car. Mm -hmm. I come, I see the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's why they fool me and they watch. Mm -hmm. How comes? But I forget, say, that's the system. Exactly. You understand? Mm -hmm. And the people who are for daily, they know daily. Mm -hmm. The one they were not supposed for did and they did it because... So square peg in round Yes, round. exactly. So we have a serious <laughs> you problem. Understand? Yeah. It's a very complex thing. Yeah. But me, we the target the politicians then for law come together, Lord just wear the nationalism and patriotism shirt. Okay. And sacrifice and build this nation. All right. We the target this unity. You mentioned, you, you asked me about unity. Mm -hmm. Unity is very, very important. Many factors that contribute towards the country in development. Trust me, Mr. Mm -hmm. Beast. But the national unity are number one. Because when the people are united, Everything will fall in place. So the unity in the country, it then at the hands of God, I'd say I'm, but God give the responsibility so we, rest on the shoulders of the politicians mm -hmm. because these politicians, most of them are being seen as demigods mm -hmm. by their people. You're right. Anything they tell them people in a gospel truth. If a politician to map together, they come together and decide for unify themselves first. Because they say political violence is what? Political violence is when the young people who don't know each other, they don't hate each other. Then they fight and kill each other publicly mm -hmm. by the decision of old people who know each other, right. hate each other, but don't fight each other. Instead, mm -hmm. embrace each other in of private. Of That's what is happening. Mm -hmm. So, it's not a complex situation, my brother. Right. So, 
Okay, fam, we'll learn our brother, and uh, like I said, again, the line's still open if you want to be part of the show. Well, I'll see if I can read a few messages about what we don't discuss. We get our brother right here. And, uh, okay. 0889209209, that number for call if you want to be part of the show. And, uh, it's unruly. Okay, I see Bangura save. Uh, let's go back. We'll get more. Should be them come up. So let's just yeah. go back. So, uh, Maxi says, uh, Hello, boss. Base, me uncle way. They speak good English. Now, him, me paddy down pool. So, okay, <laughs> well, that's different, really. I'll tell us, say, most of the people don't understand the meaning of unity because of the rate of the illiteracy. If they were educated enough, there's no way they would be manipulated by the politicians. Yep. Mm -hmm. Majority of them go along with whatever they hear from the politicians. Yep. Mm -hmm. Boss Maxi, anti T say, boss, base, keep the work going. It's unruly roses on Facebook says, uh, big respect DJ base, you are truly one in a million. Let's see if we can bring in this call. Hello? Yes, my brother. Yeah, yeah Kenny, man, outside radio small, uh, where to get the feedback and go ahead. you can normally see to people with the youth and the problem as well as the politicians. But what we need for doing at this country now is me that President Bill would overhaul the whole system who start from novelty who begin to make the beginning realize they no, I guess for the patriotic but the situation where they go on so now, look, come on. Now I'm not tell you, that means I'm a scam, ask me. Ask, I say, we don't what's the issue with you? You say that these people then they go, then they go pay money, then they go pass this, that. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you know, see, so the doctor knows that we're picking another, we really, really need to bring up. Who wants them to know? Well, that is all on this tragic for that, or story. Who wants them to know? Who wants them to know? Who wants them to But if we're not able to make the beginning now with the bomb, realize themselves. Come on, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, okay, Kenny Mana. Me, you need not be posted to you. I'm this whole thing. From nursery, bring them up to primary. You make the beginning get a different mindset. The when you go out in a studio to talk to you, so then that could have been better. But let's see, the way they talk to so the politicians and say, Alex, this is that. Every distance, this country, and this is so. Of course. Because then go inside it for an issue and stuff. Yeah. Take them to kill them, carry them go abroad, right? Fair enough. But to God be the glory. All right. Yeah. That way, if you always say, God can help you. Now we for a good Of course, yeah. <laughs> All right, Kenny, man. Thank you. All right, 0889 You can be part of the show, or you send me a message on Facebook. Uh, Baba J. Kamara say, the guy is saying the true DJ base say, Novo Tell Post and say, Sabi Talk, Janik the Finest. And uh, Martha Bangura say hi everyone from the UK. Mr. Ruli Rose say politics is the best business to have money nowadays. She on call again from the UK. It's a good ideas, but we have to call on the private sector as well to achieve this goal. Yeah. It's on Ruli Rose say they are not ready yet. Trust. Idusa Kamara say brother continue for talk true. I see Bangura say do they still teach civic education? Well, I don't wonder if they still teach yeah, that in the school because. Sure. Uh, the other thing again at the seaway, them they land in a school, uh, mm -hmm. a brother in a half across the road, the zebra. Crossing. Oh, yes, I remember. Let me they say, look left, look, left, look, look right, right look and look left, left again, again yeah. before you cross the road. Yeah. <laughs> now, we can say, look left, look right, they look for Okada <laughs> because you know, they don't have the power. So, I mean, how, how, when, when did you start to engage young people and how are you going to start to do that? Maybe well, this is just, yeah, this is just people people um, yes. yeah. one of the ways, then, first of all, we want to try to bring people on board, people in the queue. Because I uh, mentioned something about the media, we are a very, very crucial tool yeah. um, for our achieving goals here. Because without the help of the media, mm -hmm. we will struggle. Right. Um, even though it's a part of the complex situation, 
because um, of course we get members um, members of the fourth estate where they're still credible, they still hold them 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 the nationalism and they still be objective. Are we in Nabokov? Are we in Nabokov? Are we in Nabokov? Where yeah, where they're not the somebody you know the influence yeah. and because of brown envelope. You understand? Yeah. Or because of behind the scenes sponsorship. Right. For there you see the writing, you know, you see blue, you call them yellow. So we get for bring the, the the media on board and also we they try for we don't get a list of the various um um, um Parliamentarians, them, mm -hmm. the names them, and some of them we don't get to contact them. Okay. And we look for we're gonna across the country. It is part of the annual work plan. For all visit the provincial areas, them go to the villages, them. You understand? We get a team, talk to the chiefs, them because one take them to the grassroots as well. Okay. You understand? With the help and support of the politicians, take them to the grassroots. Talk to the parliament chief, them, mm -hmm. the section chief, them. Explain this idea to them. You understand? Okay. Because today I understand the situation, but today we see. Virtually, street on them become the absolute hub of the young people. Now, people in the way, young man, the way they be working at their villages and those days, engaged in agriculture. Everyone is here. A yeah. couple of days ago, I see some of them old plates, some few diamonds they exactly. walk around. Exactly. I was shocked. Yeah. You know, I engaged shoes, them. Yeah, shoes. They sit around. Junk. Instead, they be, before now, they be in our villages. They, they do farming, agri then pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't sell them. They, they make money. Right. But today, everybody want modernized. So this is not the situation. Somebody talk about the private sector, Shion from UK. How would they go be involved in this? Yes, um, bringing the private sector on board is a very crucial thing. Very, very crucial thing as well. So we the, it is part of we, we programs that we will work on. Okay. Um, for all bring them because what we do will take time for bring them on board. Because when we talk about the private sector, initially we mentioned about the political leanings, how people can go disconnect themselves emotionally from them, political yeah. leanings, and be independent. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, we know they say all the private sectors or members, um, they're part of them, um, but we get for fair caution. When you talk earlier, when you talk about uh, social justice, then we talk about this, we always talk about private sector now, for, I mean, differentiate. And to me, how did this connect go be? Because when you talk about social justice, maybe the understanding about this is like, every civil union is supposed to forget if not a job, if you qualify, then maybe if you link with a party or a connection. So how then they go be? No, well, because some of them private sector as if get connection with some political parties. Of course, we go say well, send the over under. Then we buy under them for fetch for water. I mean, put them by you, you water company. I mean, to me, to some extent, yeah, I don't know. Where you go. Well, well, now that's meant first of all when we talk about the uh, social justice, because somebody will misunderstand what is social justice mean. I tried to explain that before. I will mm -hmm. go over it again. I yeah. said, we'll talk about social justice. Yeah. When you talk about the view, say everybody deserves equal. Mm -hmm. Because you talk about equity here. Yeah. Equal economic, social, and political opportunities. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. As long as you qualify, as long as you qualify, then give the job. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of your tribe, irrespective of your geographical location, mm -hmm. irrespective of your political leaning. Whether you support party A or party B, as long as you qualify and give the job. Okay. Not to that system, because they try to break this generational cause. Say now the system say, okay, because now you've been done with me, doing the table in the political wilderness, mm -hmm. you dance with me. Yeah. Therefore, you are short, forget a job. As long as even you don't qualify. Even though you don't qualify. Yeah. Because that's the system, trust me. Mm -hmm. And it's not only now, it's been. And it's, been, and, and it's not working. It's not working. Because once you put the man away, you not know, qualify for the job. To me, Maybe now they see so in different spheres in the in, in the country. That's why we are struggling. In certain institutions, they you did not segment this man of supposed for the head of this. He's there. But then put on there because maybe he get connection and and he can't deliver. Recently, with this incident of this Dominion stuff or yeah. whatever University. just happened, I'll yeah. say it. You understand? Mm -hmm. This incident just happened recently, where we see some stakeholders were involved. Mm -hmm. You understand? But nothing happened. Nothing happened. They're still there. You understand what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's a rotting system. That we have to come together. We really need to come out first of all and speak out. How we for come together? Because it's a million question. Well, we they come together first of all. Number one, now. we wear first of all the nationalism clothes and be objective. People are like you and other people, are, like as I said, then they feel, mm -hmm. but then they out there. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if then people in the world are able to be objective mm -hmm. and see white and call them white, see blue, call them blue, not the drops not in a street. Mm -hmm. Try to be patriotic and, 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 and embrace nationalism. Yeah. Why not others not go do them? You understand? So mm -hmm. I feel say because somebody mentioned, he even mentioned something about uh, now civic education or the but yeah. today trust me uh, the BCS, yes, not they. But even we, we Because to me that's a big problem, uh, brother. Because you see some of we 
Now, from school, you get all the um, civic education. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because if you look, you don't know the, the part of the world. Yeah. The schools and they build the pick, the picking them up for nationalism, the patriotic. patriotic, and integrity also, trust from the school. Then they begin. What do you mean? See, where I don't go a few centers overseas, like the UK and the United States. The schools and then they begin build the people for society. Oh, oh exactly. But in Sierra Leone, it's like the streets or not the ghetto, uh, then they build the, people. The, the issue is, the issue is, like as I say, is a very complex thing. That's why we are asking the politicians first of all. I don't mention the, the word politicians more than every other word mm -hmm. because they're very key here. They're the you problem understand? also. They're very key here. And that makes us say, if they're ready today, mm -hmm. it will happen. If they want to let this country transform, mm -hmm. you understand, with whatever mineral resources we get, first of all, this country will transform. Yeah. But like as I say, if that happens, it will be at the new expense. Because a politician, when they come for can't preach nepotism or tribalism, or for they get support or hate speech, mm -hmm. you get for change in method of approach. Yeah. Now you get for use ideology. Mm -hmm. So they, most of our politicians, not, ideology, not they say. Mm -hmm. The only message they get first of all now for create hate right. or give hate speech mm -hmm. for disunite the people. Then. And you get people who they, they, they follow, of course, like, of, course, line they. of course, a lot yeah. of them. Yeah. Because ideology, you know, if you go to some of their advanced countries, then, mm -hmm. first of all, yes, then get ideology. Mm -hmm. This they come in, they present the ideologies. Then. Somebody make fun, first of all, say, this is somebody go study, come, he present a very good manifesto. Mm -hmm. And somebody just can't can, can shape by grass, first of all. With the election come. They won't shape the grass. <laughs> they don't shape the grass. They vote for the way they call the rest. Of course. They call the, they, that all they connect to the, the illiteracy rate. Mm -hmm. And today, when they see a society where somebody will tell us he's a graduate, but we observe, we scan them from the head to toe. Now, social illiteracy is inside it. Yeah. You understand? You're right. Because now the system is to the way, like, what are picking the bobo? They tell me, say, my sister wants to sell this thing for go be lecturer. Mm -hmm. So they go get lecturer at the money. Then they happen. push them. Oh, that let my people yeah. go. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. They go nothing, nothing at the end. Mm -hmm. So imagine the kind of generation would be. Exactly. Exactly. It's, you know, maybe we don't need to talk this for a long time. Yeah. That maybe not that make we go through all the years. Of course. Because we don't, the, we don't put the wrong people in at the right places. Patriotism, you know? civic education, not it. You You're mentioned right. an key thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like kitten. You know, then they don't, then they don't, because, you know, when we go to other countries, the picking them, the school, the idea all is about the country. Yeah. Even, they're proud of in, the country. In fact, some of the picking them over, see, where you've done it, they say, Uncle, pick it up, pick it up. You know what I mean? Of course they go But yeah, now. If you drop them, soon if you drop them, mm -hmm. now they will call police for you. Yeah. Now, you know, they move safe, police mm -hmm. don't come back. If they pick them, so they say, they, they, they get So I think the, the school then gets a lot for, for helping. The, the, the school the, and the home, the home them also, you know? Because making even saving, planning as a whole, we, how they even born picking them, we need for even plan than the back. The center cannot hold. Because for just born, boku boku picking them back with the other things, they go so, you add more problems to yourself. More problems. And more problems to society. Exactly. Making say you give more problems to police and society because, who say you born picking them, no go school, yeah, you man, yeah, you girl. I don't want police and the city. I am police, exactly. You see? Because if you go born too many pickings, and first of all, then you don't even forget uh, the finance, not the exactly. care of them. At the end of the day, they get for fend for themselves. Exactly. And especially the current society, where technology don't take over the world, the want, the want and the needs don't okay. increase. All right, so uh, we'll go get a break. We'll come back. We'll get about 10 more minutes with your brother. But say again, we go ready for get on the platform uh, whenever you come, as long as you get to do with young people. So now you'll listen to this track quickly. It's about Salon. Thank you. 
Right, welcome back, welcome back. I love Salon Me, sweet, sweet Salon Me. With that, uh, I'll go take the last set of messages right here. Then we wrap up in the next 10 minutes. You can listen to The Night Ride on Radio Mercury 92.1 FM. We get to be brother right here. Uh, Mohamed, is it Samasin? Is it? Mohamed Samasin Fofana. Okay, well, <laughs> Samasin Fofana. Anyway. Yeah. So, we're going to talk about them um, in the presence of Young African Dream. Dream, a uh, young African's dream, isn't young it? African's dream, yeah. Okay, and uh, in the represent the salon chapter, how for able and get three side with and look for a look that is unity, entrepreneurship, and social, social justice. justice for young people. So, uh, we'll just a few. Asi Bangra say hi, okay. She on course of the watch we Emma Jalo say greeting, Master Mama Jalo DJ Bass. Iba and Bangra say since 2018 civic education. Not much realized what's wrong with the implementation. Celia Boma say good evening, DJ Bass. Ayotelo says to hover all the system, it has to start with the leaders that are tasked with the responsibility to make sure that the system works. Uh, you cannot have a corrupt official siphoning the country's money with impunity and expect the people to sit idly by and watch. That's how the people eventually go rogue and corruption spread. Nationalism and patriotism goes out of the window. Let's see if this person will be part of it. Hello. Hello, this How are you? Side call from? This time, Mr. Siddiqui from Kaniki. All right. Mr. Siddiqui, thank you very much for the commendation from Kaniki. Throw the phone, the home, and the background. And uh, Jibril Edmond says there are a lot to be done, as the caller mentioned, from nursery to university. How can someone go up to university level and cannot read or write any better English? Then the politicians are using the illiterate for their selfish gains, enriching themselves with the development. Uh, okay, a little bit of each right there. Okay, uh, Abu Bakar Bangra said, "Keep up the good work, bro." Gabriel Edmond said, "There are lots to be done." As the caller mentioned, I'll just go back to so stop. Then the politicians are using the illiterate for their selfish gains, enriching themselves with the development fund allocated to them to develop their various localities. Politics is stagnating and dividing the country every day. It's an only rose say we need to have civic education in Sierra Leone to transform the mindset of the people. And the saddest part, I think, they get uh, an office where they do with civic education, but how effective <laughs> they be. Than in, uh, <laughs> uh, it's an only say indeed, forget good job now, na sabi sabi. The Koning say DJ Sanya is a small village in Tambaka, chiefdom in the northern province of Sierra Leone. Baba J. Kamara said, Janik the Finest, say it louder. Adikali Kamara said, Thanks, Mama Jajalo, for the educative program and positive vibes. May God continue to bless you. Peace, Adikali, watching from Port Loco City, the land of Great Warrior by Bure in bracket uh, Kabbalai. Uh, Janik said, This guy is saying the true DJ base, say, not for tell person, say, Sabi talk. And uh, well, just say the person they talk through because politician and then Sabi talk, then they lie. Yeah. So, uh, Mohamed Tom Kamara say keep up the good work. Mahmoud Sano say this, you like true. The young one, them, no one do nothing at this country. You never know, believe we get some guys in our before street. Uh, just they jog, they jog, they run after motor car, them. This is sad for we all. Uh, Boba J. Kamara say thanks for coming. 
Goodbye. I learned a lot. Jenny the finest. Now I say what I message there. Gabriel says civic education is the key to change uh, mindsets. Okay. So with that, uh, we'll just take a few more messages. I don't know it's in you go left for left with uh, people, but uh, people talk about civic education when myself mentioning. I don't know how we're able to inject civ civic education back to people because the schools, them, to me, it's like the schools are already getting a problem for us. Yeah, so. they're getting problems. Eh? Yeah. You know, um, I, I messaged the current uh, Minister of Education, yeah. um, um, Mr. Senge. Senge, so mm -hmm. um, for letting himself listen to the program. I don't know in schedule. Okay. Uh, now somebody we I intend for engage as well, All right. because the issue of the civic education now a very important thing, mm -hmm. and also this entrepreneurship yeah. a very very important as well. Because the reason why we they take them to the school level yeah. now that um, today we see somebody to go to university to go study a course just for satisfying friends them we not to that in field set right. because the problem with contemporary society out of hundred people ninety nine people they do the same exact thing. Right. And most of them, they focus on the material, way on imaginative. They know they unlock their talent. Mm -hmm. So me go say, now only one person is on the right track, now you're right. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we need to take this information to the, the, the Minister and the, the Ministry of Education, mm -hmm. because we we they're part of the plan, right. for work with them, mm -hmm. you understand? For focus on this civic education we mentioned, we very, very important, and also entrepreneurial skills. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean time a month or two ago, in fact, uh, we discussed this, I do an interview with Aosai, these are one of the things I want to mention, say, don't disconnect. That, totally within the society. In fact, that home and school relationship, they know they exist not anymore. Yeah. Some, yeah. Picking and they, some parents, they, they know even some them picking, they're picking and teach yourself. Absolutely. Why it's first time, anything happens, something, if you don't do this fine stuff for your daughter, you don't go to school, then go send call, say, okay, go bring your parents' car. What happened? Two, three days, you don't see this. For, let me just add something there. Yeah. The time we've been to go to school, where they say, this art and craft, mm -hmm. they create something, you can't You're right. Somebody they tell me they did art and craft. Mm -hmm. They can't go envelope mm -hmm. with money inside. Yeah, yeah. They're the post <laughs> In fact, some art and craft in some schools and now you can not send soap all go. Maybe soap, toilet roll, you can not send and they go away. No, get nothing for do the art and craft. Absolutely. And again, I also mentioned something like you mentioned. We will talk about over the come up in our school, like the civic education, for example. Women get home economics society yeah. where they go yep. learn for sew. I mean, make a yes. in them. Numerous some of we, yeah. yeah. With the yeah. M, we we two assist so all them can yes. share. Then women can learn for cook, with the land for get garden. All these are not the same as look, we, we look, we 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 you know the the school before now a, a ground a breeding ground first of all for able for screen the talent of the students them. Right. I remember then told me to go to school. You see a teacher they come they come to your parents they say this bobo or this particular lady. This is talent. Now talent this one. Yeah. Because in the screen. Of course. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because today they see the athlete. Where in chemistry, max, it no matter. Mm -hmm. You they see the musician, yeah. where no need history mm -hmm. or English language, or let's say an entrepreneur, yeah. somebody who is good at business festival, no, no need um, history okay. or literature in English. Mm -hmm. You understand? But what I try to say is, then turn in the world with the good school, then they use the, the, the system for screen the speaking them. Mm -hmm. So you see, we're picking the good festival, and parents already know we say talent there. Exactly. Most of the people in the West, some of them don't travel, and some of them come to the festival. We they see they, <coughs> they study the picking, and knowing talent, it help on that area. I can say we need a overall in so many things because one of the things I also mentioned to the uh, the, 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 the 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 minister of education, I like how on earth picking all the class to do twelve subjects. Tell me about. We it's were big so for for do five subjects. It's a burden. Because many things, what I've been telling the minister, now, like, why we not start, like, let's say after class uh, six or class seven, where you don't go secondary, mm -hmm. you begin go to career. Yeah. You see, while learning, you begin go to now down. You go learn history, where you don't get for history. Where you don't get anything for do. Then yeah. you just the add burden to your brain. Exactly. You understand? Exactly. And beginning to go to school, some, some, from, let's say from morning mm -hmm. till, let's say, up to four. Mm -hmm. And they go tell you to stay for classes. Mm -hmm. So until you begin after, yes. from morning, where you left us, exactly. they return at six o'clock. You're right. You understand? Because mm -hmm. the human brain, they get a particular time first of all where they able for exactly. get in information. Right. Mm -hmm. Whether they pass first of all, any other thing has three, they straight mm -hmm. the grade. So yeah. all learning, because you go even see people in the university, they learn, they learn, they get their A's or whatever. Sometimes they can't, and security work they can't. Job not there. Yeah. Because, or, or driving work. because, now that's make, I even mentioned about this, we talk about the civic education and this entrepreneurial skills. Because if you don't go to university, or let's say you don't go, you don't qualify, mm -hmm. you understand, you don't come, you get your paper. Not just the paper. Yeah. Because that paper, mm -hmm. for me, Nothing. It's a one If step. you characterless, yeah. mm -hmm. then you not get the brain practical. Practical brain. You create the right. entrepreneurial mm -hmm. skills. You know the. Mm -hmm. Then you not get character. 
you certificate no nothing. Well, again, if you look again, most of the people in back where they come for power in politics, they get masters there. But then go end up for be politicians. We well, don't get anything for do that, with them. Well, the, 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 we system in salon right now. To be honest with you, we don't we don't mold them in such a way that we believe say now two things for let's succeed in our life. Either I travel, go overseas, or you become a politician. You're right. Now that's not the mindset. Mm -hmm. So everybody don't mold. We don't mm -hmm. look towards that direction. People they go suffer in Dubai. We young people they go suffer now. And no mind less steady, but no come back. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. Because the 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 expectation of the society mm -hmm. is so high. You're right. So you know my lady died. Mm -hmm. You understand? You're right. Then they, one day they stay behind. Everybody mm -hmm. need for connect with a politician mm -hmm. or a lean somewhere. Mm -hmm. Where a lean they at the end of the day. But the danger behind that, number one, is they become unpatriotic. The interest of the country, first of all, they become secondary. Mm -hmm. Your own political party and interest, they become primary You're to right. you. Mm -hmm. And when your political party becomes primary, then the nation in growth becomes secondary to you, first of all. Mm -hmm. Then that country, they, first of all, where see that, that particular ideology don't increase, mm -hmm. that country in development, first of all, is at stake. Well, say earlier, it goes at stake because that's what's happening right here. And like I can say again, I mean, in real context, it's sad because that's how it's happening. Yeah. Except to give a good turn around. So, uh, which one I go left to people and before you left where maybe contact and all that yes, stuff? Yes, um, you know? first of all, the number na the young applicants dream because it just came in the country. So we get 088, we now we number with them we contact with. Yeah. Um, 044808. So now you number down there, then we office in our O'Neill Street. So we we'll try for uh, move them um, to a new location. And that make no one give the exact address, but we we'll get the contact for now. Okay. We now 088 right. So like we mentioned, um, any young person will get a very, very good um, idea mm -hmm. or marketing strategy, first of all, you get the idea. It not means if you go to university or you should be really right. Okay. Just get your understanding. You come, you meet with team, they get for interview, first of all. If we see, say, your idea there in place, first of all, and we, you get somebody like a guarantor, we're ready for fund you, start your small business. All right. You start your enterprise. If you're not a musician, you go and go and see. we know say you're very good. Okay. You understand? We just need for help the young people and let them just get something within the engage in. All right. So that they're not going to use them. Okay. Thank you. Go bring the brother here next week by God's Great Look and continue this conversation. But before that, quickly, uh, Gabriel says, Sewane is a beautiful country, but the mindset of the people is divided compared to countries in Africa like America, England, Rwanda, Ghana, and many more in which interest of the people is is the country first we got to help us to change our mindset for a better Sierra Leone Mahmoud Sanose brother base which measures have you put in place for idle youths RC Bangwa say I really like this program thank you base Mame Lama Bas a good topic you can still follow the page on Facebook and I'll uh, go get with brother uh, next week by God's grace because we want to create a platform for the we yeah. for help young people yeah. because we believe say the youth are the man and woman of today and not tomorrow because not yeah. tomorrow yet yeah. Yeah. and uh, <laughs> We believe, so like you say again, if young people are engaged, they're not going to be used by, not be by, used by anybody. politicians. You so know, let your job go fed for somebody. Not all right. Anybody. So with that, uh, plain thank you. Yeah. Uh, you can still continue and follow up the discussion on Facebook. We'll get a break. We we better go left way. But we'll bring this track. Have a good time. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very, very much. Very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Welcome back, Radio Mercury 92.1 FM. It's time for now. We'll take a break. I want to pay respect to some people here. They watch well. They are Sean Cole from the UK. Sheku Tyson Conte. Say good job, Mr. Bass. Octavia Tamu. Say good job. And uh, Ayo Taylor, Seth. Uh, with that, so listen to this one. This is a national pleasure in Creole. We have been talking to Madam Fanny Fine in the Asia. He's based in Ghana. And he's here with you. And listen to him. Okay, Lord, you listen to this quickly. <laughs> Welcome back, Radio Mercury 92.1 FM. That now a track done by Madame Fanny Fine. Uh, Civilian National Pledge in Creole. Just go to YouTube and type F A N N Y F A Y N. Then you're right there, okay? With that, we'll take a break and uh, we'll come back. We can join with guys and out there. We'll get Barry Alpha online for the last and final draw for tonight. So we'll go off on Facebook. We'll go come back. So we'll just connect with you, brother. Over to you, Barry Alpha. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, DJ Bates. 